Hamilton season three was released on May 16th, 2024 and only released four episodes. So everybody's waiting about a month until June 13th for the next four episodes to be released. If you've watched Bridgerton through all three seasons and Young Charlotte, you'll know that it is based in a time period where women really had to get married in order to have a life, in order to be able to escape their family, in order to be able to move on to their next phase. They needed a husband and especially in the era of Bridgerton, the women are debuted to society and every girl hopes she becomes the diamond, which is the one who is probably going to be offered to the best bachelor at the time. So without giving too many spoilers away, I want to talk about two different ideas. The one that Penelope is going through, which is the idea of how do you rebrand? How do you come back from a certain type of background that people associate with you, a certain type of personality and shifting it into a new one. And also the idea of creating your own life separate from the opinions of others and being able to do what you want to do and not what other people tell you to do. Now, if you know anything about Penelope in Bridgerton, she is a lady whistle down and she is the one who is writing about the gossip around the town, the city that they're in. And she has to lead this a double life where she is getting paid from her lady whistle down writing, but is also at the mercy of finding a husband. So she, in this, series this season wants to navigate how can I actually get a husband she doesn't want to live at home anymore and even though she has some money she can't go and live on her own without a husband she still needs someone to take care of her and how does she do it she completely transforms her looks she does her hair in a different way she changes her clothes and she enlists Colin to help her be more magnetic charming to get a new suitor how does one go about getting a new personality, a new lifestyle, a shift in your personality that grants you access into a new life? Well, the first thing that you have to do is to realize how far your current way of acting and living and the energy you give out has gotten you up until now. What do you do right now and what outcomes are you getting for it? If you're super sweet and super kind and super nice and you feel like people are taking advantage of that by always willing to share everything with you and because you don't feel like you need to share, they're just monologuing all their problems to you. Or maybe you're really great at creating baked goods or crafting and you feel like people only care to be around you when you offer them these insights or these presents that go along with being in your life. So look at the ways that people are currently interacting with you and reevaluate if you like it. If you feel like people only reach out to you when they need something or when they're bored or when they remember that you exist, maybe you're in a place where you want to shift your circumstances that you're in and change the people that are in your life because you don't want to be around people who are using you because when it comes down to it, when you actually need your friends to show up for you, to care about what you have to say, to care about what you're going through, those types of people will not be there. And if you feel like you want to transition or transform a part of your life, you're most likely in that place right now. And to do so, you simply have to evaluate who it is that you interact with on a daily basis and how do you feel once you do interact with them? How excited are you when they call you or text you or what are the conversations mostly about? You have to evaluate where you stand right now with everyone in your life, from your parents, to your siblings, to your coworkers, to your close friends, to people that you interact with as strangers. Do you feel like you're always being super sweet and nice and people are looking at you weird or taking advantage of that in some way? Are you the opposite? Do you feel like you don't talk to people at all and you're always mean mugging everyone? How do you interact with the world and all these different layers. There's people who know you since the day you were born and then there's people who only met you 15 seconds ago. 
what is the difference in how you interact with all these people? You need to be able to understand where you start in order for you to get to the next place. And that's what we see Penelope do. And what Colin reinforces in her is this idea that she is charming, that she is sweet, and he just is going to help her bring that out a little bit more. Of course, there is a much more interesting and dramatic timeline and scenes that happen with those two, but I won't have any other spoilers, but those two um, are very close friends and he just wants to help her at the start. And can we enlist people that are really close to us and know us and want to help us transition into these places, which is also the time that you'll figure out who is your real friend and who isn't. Because if you start sharing with people like, hey, I do want a new job, I want to move to a new place, the people who actually want to be in your life for the right reasons will be encouraging and not detracting from your glow or from the things that you want to do. So once you have figured out where you're allegiances lie and how you interact with people on a daily basis then look at the friends who you do trust and really care about and see if they can offer any suggestions ask them like hey is there a certain way that i seem to come off to people that is too much is too little what do you think i could shift like what would you want to see change in order for me to be at this place that i want to be and, and be open with them be like hey i want to be more feminine or I want to find more friends or be more outgoing or more adventurous and this is what I'm thinking about. You can ask them and of course you also don't have to go to your friends but you should then ask yourself those questions too. What is it that you actually want? You What goals are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to be more adventurous and talk to people you don't know so you can expand the experiences that you're having? Are you trying to buy new types of clothes so that you can go into different places feeling more secure in yourself and the image that you project, what is it that you're trying to achieve by shifting how you interact with the world and trying to change how the world sees you? What are the things that you're trying to do? So try to do that, write it out, figure out where you stand with people right now and where do you want to be going? How do you want to do that? And most of this work will need to be on the inside. Now you can change the exterior as much as you want, and that will be part of it too. If you're somebody who never enjoys makeup or dressing up, that might be a transition that you want to do, but you can put on whatever clothes you want, whatever makeup, whatever hairstyle. It's the inside that you actually have to work on. So if you feel like you've been too open with everyone or too willing to listen, or feel like you've been treated more like a therapist instead of a friend, Figure out what those boundaries would look like. When somebody is oversharing, how do you in that moment say, I appreciate you sharing with me, but I need you to understand that I can't help you past a certain point. I will listen and you know you can talk about it, but we can, this cannot be a reoccurring theme every few hours, every day, and so on. You have to realize what those boundaries need to be for you. And once you do, it'll make things a lot easier for yourself and for others to understand where they can have a place in your life. And you are no one's therapist, no one's mother, no one's forced anything. And you shouldn't have to take on these roles in order to keep people in your life. And if you think that a friendship is gonna end because you say, hey, I just can't talk about work anymore. I wanna listen and I wanna hang out with you and I wanna talk with you and laugh and joke. But if all of our interactions are simply around this idea that you hate your life or you hate this or you want to complain, I just can't do it anymore. And you don't have to be upfront like that. You could just be like, hey, why don't we go watch a movie? Why don't we go do something else and try to keep shifting the narrative from that thing? And if the only times they want to talk to you is because your coworkers or if they're always talking to you, just see what it's like if you shift the conversation. What if you shared with them the struggles that you're going through. Do they care? Do they dismiss it? Do they talk for 35 minutes and then they ask you at the end, how are you? And once you answer, they say, I actually have to go. How willing are they to show up for you at the levels that you're showing up for them? And if you have no idea, it's probably because you've never asked them to show up at this level. So why not start asking that of them? You know, you're trying to transition into being this new version of yourself, see how they're willing to interact with you. How are they willing to help you in that place? If you're always helping others, how are they going to help you? Oh, try that out. See what they have to say and what it means for you. 
to be friends with them. And the other thing that Penelope is facing is this idea that even though she is Lady Whistledown, she still needs to get married. How do you go against what society expects? And at the same time as you're trying to change what society thinks of you. Society really has an influence over all of us. Being connected to other people is one of our biggest social needs. It is right above being fully able to take care of your physical and literal needs like food, shelter, water. Right above that is how you interact with society. So being part of the social structure is really important and is of course something we're gonna always have to go back to. So how do we stand against society when things like this are happening? We have to realize that no matter what is going on, it is up to us to decide to live what life we want because society is not the one that wakes you up in the morning and tells you to brush your teeth and go work for this job or go apply for a new job. It is you that has to put in all of this work. And we are no longer living in a society that has as much strict rules on the women in society. Women 50 years ago were not allowed to get high paying jobs, own property, have their own bank accounts, be able to create stuff and have the credit for it. So at the end of the day, we have to see how much privilege we have now that many people didn't have many years ago. And it wasn't just women, it was other parts of the population that were not allowed to live the life that they wanted because society told them that they couldn't. And in Penelope's time, she really can't live without a husband. She can't actually go and make a living and she can't even be open about being Lady Whistledown because everybody would know who it is. And the fun part about it is that no one knows in the show. So when society has certain expectations of us, but it allows us to have certain freedoms, we have to take those freedoms as ours and that something no one else can take away from. We can't be in this position over and over again and allowing other people and other things to influence us that we don't feel strongly about. If you don't want to get married and have kids and all these other things, you don't have to. You can pursue whatever career it is you want if you so choose to do so. You don't have to live with a man or another person in order for you to have freedom or to have your own space. You don't have to do it. And if you feel like you are dependent on someone right now, you can get out of it. You can always apply for another job. You can search for loans that can help you get out of this situation. There are ways to get out of the scenario that you're currently in. You also have the opportunity all around you to go after that and to look at it for other places. So when you are looking and stepping into this world, I want you to understand that society is very different than it once was. We're no longer living in Penelope's time where women just have to settle for whatever person wants them in order for them to have any kind of life. And you see that really present in the mothers of Bridgerton where they're saying like, you need to get married, like you need to continue the legacy, like you have to create a home for yourself and the only way you can do it is by marrying someone. And you see the differences in Penelope and her mother where her mother's like, yes, you have to marry this person. And Penelope's like, but I want true love, but I want to do things for me. I don't want to do it because I have to, and we don't have to anymore. So if you're in a place where you don't love the situation, you don't love this person, you don't love the job, you don't love what you're doing most hours of your day, you have to reevaluate and you get to in this day and age. Penelope really can't, she will have to marry someone most likely. So the fact that we don't have to live under those circumstances is a great thing. And because we get to change, society doesn't get to dictate as much as it once did. And of course, if you want to shift and change just like Penelope did, you can and you wanting social approval isn't a bad thing, but you can decide who you get it from. Penelope needed it from her community, but you can find the community that you want approval from because you approve of them. You don't have to be friends with everyone that you interact with, and you can choose to not be friends with someone after a certain point of time where it's no longer working for you. You have to decide that this is or isn't working for me, and then you can transition and shift and do so accordingly. Understand that whatever wants you want from this world 
are possible. You just have to put in the work to do it. And Penelope did put in the work. She shifted her clothes. She changed how she spoke to people. She became more open. So it does require work at the end of the day. You don't suddenly become accepted by groups of people by not trying and sitting alone by yourself and not talking to anyone. You have to put in the work to find the people who actually wanna be around you. And that's really what Penelope is doing at the heart of this. So she's wanting to create a life for herself by becoming more of herself. And that is what she realizes. She is the person who likes to sit by the window and enjoy a good book. And she doesn't really wanna run around outside. And that is true and authentic to her. So by going on this journey of letting go of things that don't work for you, you're becoming more of who you are. And that of course is going to let the people who don't wanna be around that fall away. And if you feel like you've been betrayed by people, maybe you just came to the realization that for a time you guys work together, but at that time you weren't necessarily yourself. Maybe you were a version of yourself, but it wasn't your most authentic self. It was authentic at the time and there's no reason to hold anything against that version of yourself. And that's a big part of all of this too, is to realize that the person I was before wasn't wrong. It's just no longer who I want to be. And to forgive that that was who you were and that there's also nothing really to forgive. That's just who you were at that time. And you get to choose and you're allowed to change. And it's up to you to decide what's next and where you're going and why you're doing so. So just like Penelope, we can embrace different parts of our personality. And ironically, her trying to change and be more part of what society wants, she actually just solidifies who she is and is more willing to share that with the world. So whether you're trying to figure out what you want based off of a job or a boyfriend or whatever, or if you're trying to change yourself to fit in more, you'll realize that either way, you are going to end up at the same conclusion that I actually have to be more myself in order to attract the right people. And you'll get there by understanding like, well, I wanna put on these nice clothes for me and the people who don't like that aren't for me. You have to do the things for you that you enjoy and that you like. And if you're not, it'll easily come across and that's not what you want. You want to embody and embrace the reality that things will shift and things will change and the people who want to shift and change and be different with you will and everybody who doesn't just wasn't meant to be part of that next chapter it doesn't mean the last chapter was awful because they were there it just means that it's changed and shifted and i want you to do what's right for you just like penelope did and i'm excited to see what the next four episodes will bring these ended of course on a cliffhanger and We'll be back in a month to talk about that. We'll of course talk before then, but I'm interested to see where Penelope grows and how she becomes more herself. And that's really what this show is about. And of course, all the fun love scenes and people and the storylines. But I hope you got something out of watching Penelope blossom and become who she is a little bit more. Let me know what you thought about the show and what you're excited to see. And we'll talk soon. Have a great day. Bye.